Hi everybody, this is Dawn with Scrapbook Sage. I'm so glad that you're able to join me today for this video. It has been quite a couple months. We are in um, the second week of June. If you um, are watching this video now, you know exactly what's going on, that we've, we're have we getting through COVID-19. There's been rioting in the streets across the nation. And um, there is just, it is, there's just a lot going on in the world. So if you have taken time to watch this video right now, thank you so much. I really appreciate it because it is um, sort of a challenge to um, process everything that's going on. So if you haven't been to my channel before, I generally show j junk journals that I've made and um, or supplies or different things like that. So I've just opened an Etsy shop on June 1st was sort of my heart open. I opened it a couple weeks before that. I'm adding things to my shop weekly. I am having a sale right now, 20% off this whole month for the grand opening. So if you want to go to Etsy, Scrapbook Sage on Etsy is the name of the shop. And um, feel free to go there and get some of these great supplies. I'm going to show some of the supplies to you just really briefly and tell you what's in them. And then you can go and look at the pictures because it, um, it'll be a lot more clear. I'm not going to unpackage all these things I've packaged, but I will let you know what is in them. And um, generally I have a whole stash of supplies. I'm de-stashing a lot of stuff and organizing my workspace um, so that I can have a business from home. And I'm just so honored for the opportunity to do that despite everything that is going on. So um, my goal for this channel is one, to share beautiful junk journals with you. Two, to share supplies with you that I find in the community or just de-stash stuff that I have after working on projects. There's always beautiful leftovers and um, we, it's nice to share the wealth in a reasonable way. And um, the other thing I'm looking forward to doing is on my Facebook page, Scrapbook Sage, I have friends and family who are artists and I um, will often share some of their work. I believe um, I really like to pr promote other people who are doing amazing things, both friends and family and like the scrapbook and the junk journal community. There's so many artists out there and so many of them are better than me. I'm a scrappy girl. I like to play with the paper scraps <laughs> and process paper and just touch pretty paper. That's what I like to do. I wouldn't say that I'm really excellent in making beautiful um, um, journals in the way that they're masterpieces. There's masterpiece makers out there. I make a good junk journal. I, I, I make a pretty decent junk journal. Um, it's not fabulous, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I just started junk journaling a year ago. So there's definitely room for growth. But if the concept of a junk journal is to put beautiful paper together so that we can write our stories and um, we can find fun, creative ways to do that in a way that keeps us motivated. That's what I like to do. And I think things are good if you meet that. That is my bar. It, it might be a low bar for a lot of people, <laughs> but that's my bar. If I say that's good, that's what's good for me. Um, because the reason is so many people don't do things because they don't think they're good enough. And um, the freed, I, I never respected art until I was able to start scrapbooking because it gave me the grace to play with a purpose. I have to be a little bit, I have to have a little bit of purpose when I play. I, I'm just, I'm just structured that way. So I will process paper and call that work. <laughs> I will feel okay about it. So um, anyways, so I decided to go ahead and make my play work because that sort of is what I, that's, that's sort of how I'm wired. So I hope you will enjoy being a part of this process and you will join me. I hope to be um, publishing videos at least once a week, if not m more than that. Um, I have started making digital kits and that has been a lot of fun. So that may take away from the video time, but we'll see what happens. I am home right now. I am going to go for this and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So thanks for listening to me again. Welcome to my channel. Here we go. I'm going to share some of the things that are in my shop. They're really basic things. I've, um, like I said, I am pretty functional. Here's 20 pieces of coffee dye paper. They are folded. They're a little bit crispy. 
and they are five dollars in the shop they're probably on sale because there's that 20 percent off sale but i will just show you this is what they look like they are folded ready to go for you i do fold most of my papers if they don't fit really easily in an envelope or in a ziploc bag i just figure you are probably going to be folding it if you're making a junk journal just know that's pretty much um my style and what I will be offering to you. There will be times where I will have full pages that are not folded when I have access to a lot of the manila envelopes, but um, for the space that I have in my home and um, for the way that I will be processing, processing things, um, that is what I'm going to do. So, since I started junk journaling, it has taken me a year to feel like I have all the little bits and pieces that I need to junk journal. You know how you have like the main scrapbook pages and then you have white copy paper and then you copy dye it yourself. And then you find a book here or there that you feel like you can actually cut up. Um, some people have a hard time getting into books. I don't have quite a hard time getting into my books, but my, it, my husband cringes every time I do. So, um, I love finding old paper. It's been a lot of fun. I, I, um, didn't realize how many of us just love the old papers. I, I, I liked it when I was a kid. I didn't really know that until later. However, I love it all. I love old paper. I love new paper. And, um, I, um, want to be able to offer some resources to you. I have some old paper that I will be sharing with you guys. I don't know if it's going to be this video. But I got a beautiful stash of old paper. With that said, I think it's important for us to be able to see that anybody can make a junk journal with the items that they have in their home or that is readily available to them on the cheap. Um, I like to keep things minimal. Um, I'm, I'm not a big stash pack rack person. I like I have a certain amount of space. I like to scrap and work in. So I'm going to be moving things along through my shop. And as I find good things, I will be passing, a, I will keep some of it for myself and then I will share a lot of it too. And so yesterday I was in the store and I found this great deal on this paper here. It's just green line paper, but it has a really neat hole in it. And I think it was like made in the eighties. Um, so I came across that for a really good deal. And this is just paper that I've tore out of a music book that is like the 80s or 90s. And then I found some ledger paper. First time I've got my hand on like real ledger paper for myself. So I've been doing this for a year. And that's the first time I felt like I was able to buy it for a price that I felt like I could buy it for. Um, this is a fabulous book that I've put. I use this book almost in all my journals. It's a really fat book. It's called the Western Garden Book. I've seen a couple of them around in the community. They are perfect for journaling, uh, journal pages. They've got this green line on the side and these cute little um, images of plants on both sides. And they have red and different um, elements that make us all love it. There is another one of those papers. Here is another garden piece that I have. I um, This has some great pictures on it too. So it might be talk, um, talking about fertilizers and stuff like that, but the page is so cute. It's a good blank, what I call blank page. All these are really good blank pages that you can um, pretty much treat like you would treat coffee dyed paper. You can put some wash on it, um, put some gesso on it if you want to get the words to go in the background. I like to write and journal even on top of this because when I journal, I'm journaling for myself. I'm not really journaling for anybody else. They really don't need to read it. So, and I think that's just sort of adds to the layers and it makes it look pretty cool. So, um, but you may need to do something a little bit more, build a layer on top of what a journal card or whatever that will work for you. I'm a functionalist. I like to have to-do lists in my junk journals. Um, and write on those. And it is, I got into junk journaling through bullet journaling. And so this meets one of those like take care of business needs for me. 
Here is another piece of that ledger paper. It's gorgeous. Okay. And here is a day timer of mine from 1999. <laughs> so it had some extra pages in there and it was fun to be able to pull those out. So I have a few pages of those. And I'm going to be using this kit in a journal that I'm going to be making. But I wanted to show you just what you, how you can pull together a nice little kit for yourself. Let me see. What do I have in here? It is, I think I have the post here. This is 40 pieces that are the basics that you can build your journal up with. So I've got three pieces of to-do list because like I said, I'm very functional. So I like to be able to pull one of these out for the day, write my to-do list, and then it is good to go, maybe tear it in half and make it for six days. Um, this is really cool. I found this yesterday too. It is, um, it looks like it's a time card. Um, it, it's a form on the back. It says detail on entertainment, other expenses. So it looks like it's sort of, um, you turn it into your boss for your expenses and things like that. So that's a fun little couple pieces of ephemera with the holes on the side and the green, the ledger look. I've got um, a Spanish dictionary. Tore out some pages. Those are fabulous to have. Um, I Most of my, just so that you know, if you buy things from me, most of my to-do lists and stationary lists, they're faith-based. One, they're cheap, and um, in the stores that I find, I find that a lot of the cute ones are faith-based, but I love them because it does speak to my faith. So um, just so you know, if you get something and you don't um, necessarily have the same faith that I do, just know that those may be in my kits, and there's probably five or six pieces in this kit. Just that That's pretty much just what it is. And I will have non-faith based kits and I will try to note that in my Etsy listings. I may not always do that, but just so you guys know, um, they're pretty, so you can cover them up and put washi tape over things that may not work for you. And I have also was lucky. Um, I think I shared a stash. Um, yeah, I shared the stash that I had a few months ago. I came across all this antique collectible books. Somebody was having an estate sale and this is just a piece from that. And so it has pictures of old um, antiques and it has pictures of the marks on the back. And so I've got a small book that does that and I've got this book that does it too. And they are just fun to have in, um, in um, your journal. So I'm sorry if there is a little um, flash that's in videoing while charging me. I missed the whole what it said. So I'm sorry if that interrupts the video a little bit. Also, I live in the Northwest. There was a Monopoly set for sale, but it, it's called Pen, Pen. I'm not gonna be able to say it right. Peninsulopoly. So it is a Monopoly board made of real estate that is on the North Pennsylvania or the South Peninsula of Washington. So Long Beach area of the state of Washington. So I will be making a journal out of that board in the future. But a lot of my ephemera that will be going into my kits are these little dollar, are the little money from that because I think they're adorable. Here's a little heart um, doily. Here is a card. You've seen them. Michaels, they sell you those. $5, you buy 40 cards with the envelope. They're just a nice add to the journal. You can either use it as a gift when you're giving the journal, or you can put it in your journal and it, it makes, it's really pretty as a flip out and all that good jazz. I've had some colored envelopes for years that are smaller than the average card. And I have not made many cards to fill them. So they are a great resource for getting your kit together. So Got this a day ago. I've had this for years, but they're coordinating. They're getting the job done. Gotta love it, right? It's good. It's all good. Um, again, here is another one of those antique books that is just perfect. It has all the fonts and 
bold font, light font, row, rows, and great descriptions of different type of pattern um, depression glass. Another to-do list. Isn't this beautiful? With it, It's a little peacock and the butterfly, and it has a little pseudo stamp there. It's not really a stamp, but it sort of gives you that impression. And this is sort of my favorite find from, let me see, let me get in here the right way. It is another little work check. Um, what is it? It has January through December, your name, address, telephone, large CO, small CO, partnership, individual, contact, interest. So it looks like it's a, um, it looks like it is a um, lead sheet for um, people, for call centers. So that was a really interesting piece of ephemera and it was old. It was in old packaging. Um, so anyways, this is a typical uh, 40 piece kit um, will be in my shop anywhere um, is in my shop. I'm doing 20% off. I'm going to use this kit, I believe, for this next um, journal myself because um, it's just it's grab and go then. Right. And for many of you, you don't have the real estate to keep hordes of stuff you have a little small working space i get it and um so that is my desire is to provide really effective resources for you to junk journal some of them will be new items some of them will be old items hopefully i will sort of have a selection that will meet your need and that works for you give me the month to sort of build up the shop i hope you'll find things that will work so all you have to do is grab this kit and then maybe grab one of my little goodie bag kits that has tons of little pieces of ephemera. I have this nice little glassing bag. And I will take this out really quick. And it is just bits and pieces. And you can, um, this it has words, it has um, cut apart, it has antique and it, or it has um, vintage little pieces like um, my heart's a message. It has cut apart hearts, it has stamps hearts, it has little cut aparts from junk journals, it has stamps, it has stickers, it has little envelopes and coffee mugs and little banners and just all those little things that you want to tuck into those tech spots. It's just like, okay, where do I, where's my stuff? And so if you can have an envelope and you can throw this in a little bowl, I have a little turtle bowl that I like to keep my little pieces of ephemera in. And it just allows you to make those little clusters and layer things up. And it's fun to have a nice selection to just grab from. If you don't have a really strong theme, most of my stuff that I'm putting out right now are garden themed, then I will try to identify that it's garden or science or um, nature themed. I will try to do that in my listings. But that is just um, one of the resources that I have available to you. So similar things, I'm not going to open them all. But here's another one with a card in it with the cut aparts. Here's one where I've added beads and um, I do want to show you this because this is, I'm really proud of my husband. It's one of my favorite things that's in the shop right now is my husband 3D printed this butterfly. Isn't it adorable? I colored it with um, alcohol ink and um, it has a little eyes there that you can add to a dangle so it can hang on the side of your journal or it can hang on the bottom. So and that so I will be having them in white eventually. Right now I have just a few available in the shop that I have colored. I will make white ones, um, sets of five available as well as um, you can custom order um, colors that you want. So I, if you order a color, it will be a it may be a blue, whether it's a light or dark blue. It will depend on how well my um, how long my inks last and all that good jazz. So. Um, they may not be consistent, but if you let me know what color tone you're going for, if I have it, I um, 
will go ahead and make it for you or I will purchase it. These are not perfect in that they're 3D printed. They have like little hairs and stuff left over from the 3D. If those drive you bonkers, then take a file. I'm not going to spend that much time on a dollar on a dollar item to get to you. If, if you want to deal with it to that degree, feel free to do that. Remember, I'm Scrapbook Sage, so I like things just um, a lot of fun and playful. So, and you'll notice that um, some people are really good at curating their packaging, but my heart really is to just get tools in your hand. I've had fun playing with something. Hopefully you'll have fun playing with it and um, you'll be good to go. So um, there's that for you. Here's a little vellum piece that was, let me get it back. I've um, made things a little bit um, extra in each bag. So if there's a count there, it should be good even if one gets lost in the process. If you ever feel like you're short on a count, just let me know and I'll be happy to send you an additional little baggy goodie bag. So um, I don't think that's going to happen, but I just want to say I want to take care of you guys. I respect you guys, and I respect you watching my channel and all that good jazz. So there are so there is a medium kit. I showed you the big kit. I will take care of this in a minute. And um, so here's another one. Here's another one that's really similar to the green one. This one is really similar. It may have bigger pieces and it's garden themed. So this is like the good medium pieces that um, you have the little itty bitty pieces and you have the medium pieces that sort of help make the pockets and help um, do the belly bands and help um, you can layer it. If it does not have anything on the back, you can put it back on it and it becomes a journaling card for you. So I've got that available and then this is also, um, oh, this was a cool one. So this is old journal pages. I already showed those to you, right? And then um, really grungy. Uh, so this is daytimer pages and then eight pages, two are daytimer pages. And um, eight of these are journal pages. It has this cute little green, um, a little green butterfly on all of them. And it has buttons. So I just thought that was really cute. Um, I love them, but I thought you guys might like it too. So they were a really cute put together. So those are the type of items that I will be offering you in the shop on the small level. Um, here are some more of those. This is a set of five that sort of rainbow colored of my husband's 3D printed um, butterfly charms. And then he has also made, these are amazing. They're really, really cute. Sorry if you get this first set of packaging that I'm showing on air. You know, it might I might fold it over. It may not be as pristine as it could be. I may have to rebag it, but um, I wanted to show these to you. They're two different types of jumbo clips. One goes on the top and one can go on the side. So if I was going, so it goes this way or from the bottom, but this is from the top because it has the bigger like triangle there. And this just has a little lip, if you could see. So look how cute those are. Those will be so good in a junk journal. So I'm selling um, the set of two for $3. Um, and I've got a, um, little pink set and then I also have a set where it is the charm and a butterfly clip so I will fix these so those are some things in the shop now that you've sort of seen my aesthetic what I put in there this is a hundred piece kit it has garden pages it has doilies it has lots of little pieces of ephemera um, this one is from three different garden books. Um, and I tea dyed um, these pages here. It has doilies, um, die cuts, and it's generally a, a garden theme. Oh, and I was inspired. I'm going to, who was it? One of the gals 
um, makes blooming envelopes. Shabby doo -dah did those blooming envelopes and I made one of those and it is in here and it is just adorable. So this is the blooming envelope kit. I thought I would share that with you. And here is another kit that has all the goodies. It's almost a whole kit that will get you started with, has a string and everything. So you're good to go other than the um, cover. Here is another sweet little kit a lot of cutouts and some coffee dyed paper in it. Here is a great book that you can use to make some tags and it just has some great colors that's on sale in the shop. And I told you that I'm bringing you some old items. Um, I have another set of coffee dyed paper in here. And then I have, look at this. How adorable is this? Let me move things over here really quick. Okay, this is a Girl Scout book. And it has blues and blacks. And it is old. It is 1979. So what is that? That is 20, 40 years old. Look how cute. This would be good to um, for anybody who is a Girl Scouts and you just want to give them a book so they can have a piece of history or it would be good to um, a, a good resource for those blank pages. Now this is a little bit older and um, I'm prices, pricing these under like market price on Etsy and stuff. So if you want to use them in your journals, you can. This one is priced a little bit higher, um, and the reason it is because of the name, Mandel and Hammerstein. So um, this is a really cool piece of history. It was made, let me see if I get this right, um, 43. So um, it is just a really fun music sheet, lots of beautiful artwork done on it. I'm sorry I keep on lifting it up because I um let me see if I can pull this out a little bit there you go but yeah it is beautiful it's just so gorgeous so and then this one is also it has a lot more pages in it it doesn't say oh 28 pages not counting the cover the cover's a beautiful red it's got these black and white pages here, the great inside page. It's got like all these different songs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different songs. Look at that. This is like a little sticker that's on top of that. The fonts are amazing. And there is story about the artist, the musician. It's a great little story. His story is great. He traveled. He was sort of a wild kid. Rode the rails, traveled the world, got married, lived through some crazy stuff. So um, this is a great little piece of ephemera. So I hope to bring much more of these your way. I will price them a little bit under what I'm seeing in Etsy so you guys get them in your hand. But also they are really a piece of history. So um, you could choose if you're, I couldn't cut them up. <laughs> I'll let you decide. <laughs> If you want to cut them up, you are more than welcome to do that. But if you want to keep them as um, for posterity's sake or save them until they're, um, you're able to digitize them, I'm probably talking, um, you're welcome to do that. Some of it, I have paper in my stash right back here, scrap of paper that's 20 years old. So it may seem like a long ways away, but sometimes it's not that far away. So anyway, there's that. And then these are not... Yeah, I will just say that I will be bringing a lot of more old pieces to you, and I hope you enjoy them. My next video, I hope to share with you the um, journal that I'm making as a design team member of Carolyn's Craft Tree. She's got a lovely, huge, huge digital kit called um, Royal Azure at Carolyn's Craft Tree. Go get it and have fun crafting with me. It's blue themed, so it's perfect for the summer. It sort of gives you that summer vibe, but it is a vintage kit. 
It's really sweet and darling. I loved it so much. I made two journals. I didn't film them. I gave one away. One is going to go into a local shop soon. And then, um, but I was so inspired by her kit that I had to make my own kit. So my second digital kit that I created is, um, I made to complement Carolyn's craft tree kit. So if you go to my Etsy shop and go to, um, Albany blues, that is the kit that I, um, will be making my third journal with her kit. Here is, um, a page from Albany blues. This is the kit really quick. This is Caroline's. See, I've started the journal, um, but I haven't filled it in with all, like I'm going to take that yellow, the 40 piece pack, build up my journal, create my journal, and I will be good to go. I, everything will be in one place, but, um, I've prepped this. I didn't, so, um, I didn't expand Carolyn's pages to print off the page. I could have, but I, I just had forgotten to do that. But my pages do print off the page. I have a really cool technique that I'm going to show, um, how to take care of that really simple. Um, so I wanted to, um, I will show you guys how to do that. So come back to my channel and follow me, hit the subscribe button and notification. So you can see when I pop that up, but like I said, look how cute this kit is. So this is hers. These flowers are beautiful. These blue ribbons are really cute. She's got, um, look at all this blue here and the ribbon in the background that is stunning. I will talk a lot more about her kit, but just sneak peek. Look at this, this little sweet Victorian gal and the letters. And you could see how I was inspired to do things. And, um, Look at this, these two pages that the papers are just so cute. Look how beautiful they are. So as you can see, they were quite inspiring. And, um, I have been wanting to do an Azure blue kit for, um, personal reasons. I had fun making this kit because, um, there is a milk bottle in the background here with the name, um, of where some family of mine is from. And anyways, it just makes me happy thinking of them and honoring them that way. Cause that's what you just need to honor people. Even if you've been hurt by people and, um, it's just important to honor people right now. So, and then I love this page and this image is on Lindsay Zenner's, um, vintage image club. I used it to create my dig I used a lot of images from her image club to create my um digital kit. She just provides that as a resource. So um I I'm really grateful to her and I had so much fun making this kit and um I'm so excited about showing you the whole completed project but there's a cute little sneak peek. Um I know this is getting long, but maybe I will, um, teach you a little bit more. So some more of the pages from Karen's craft tree are here. I mean, she's just gives you tons of envelopes, tons of ephemera pieces. I'm not even grabbing them all. They're really cute, but I got my printer and, um, a cartridge. I forgot to take the tape off the carpet cartridge. So I printed up her kit all the way and didn't thought, oh, it should print just fine. I went back and it was all black and white. And it was because I didn't take the tape off the cartridge so it could print in color, but it was a happy mistake. And, um, it, it really made some really amazing, amazing, amazing pages. So you can have either a blue journal or a black and white journal with her kit, because all you have to do is leave the tape the tape on your cartridge when you change it or select black and white. So with that said, th this is some pieces from my kit or a piece from my kit. Anyways, um, I took one of those black and white pages and decided to play with my markers. I love to color. I do not color well. I've had surgery on my right hand twice, so I'm not a perfect colorist. And like I said, I don't do anything perfect, but 
Um, I like to color outside the line so when I cut it, it doesn't look like I've missed anything. This was really fun to do and I think this, these two pieces on my page will look really cute on one of my pages. Um, but, and th these colors will sort of complement the pages that I've made. But I just colored in the dress here and I used skin tone for the little gal and I used that same tone for her hat. And let me see if I can find, um, so, I know I'm doing, I'm giving away, you know, all the great parts. Well, no, I have another piece I'll show you guys next time. But look at the kit. This is what she's, this is what prints up on and when you print it in blue. This is the black and white colored in by me with my um, Spectre Noir markers. So um, think about what you can do with all your digital kits. If you want to make something but you don't have it in a perfect color, print it up on black and white. And then you can find a color theme that will work for you. And um, imagine making those like a little blooming envelope out of these. You know, that, that will be a lot of fun. So I hope I've shared some cute ideas with you. I know I am not crafting with you, but I hope you um, have gotten inspired. Again, um, I'm so honored that you joined me. Feel free to um, hit the subscribe button and click the notifications. Go check out my shop. Um, even more so, go check out Carolyn's shop and um, give her some love over there. She has um, been so gracious to let me be a part of her design team with me being such a newbie, newbie to the junk journal community. And she's been such a help already. So um, that's why we all craft together. We have great people in our community. Thank you for joining me. You have a great weekend. And I will see you guys um, soon. Bye-bye.